Howdy, Internet! I am Travis Willingham, and you're watching part two of The Legend of Vox Machina Crew and A, a virtual meet and greet where we get to showcase some of the talented folks working on the upcoming animated series from ourselves, Tipmouse, and Amazon Studios. And this time, we're going to loosen things up a little bit by getting to know everyone's favorite Vox Machina characters, Grog, as well as their most memorable moments from our first Taldore campaign. Without further ado, let's hear what they have to say. Today we are... Wait, hold on. I don't know. <laughs> We're here to answer questions. We are talking about Vox Machina. Which character in Vox... Blah, blah. Which Vox Machina character is my favorite and why? Um... That, that's a tough one. Man, I never thought about that. It's between Scanlan and Keyleth, because Scanlan is just so funny and so goofy and so fun to draw. Scanlan is my favorite. He is hilarious and always getting into mischief and trouble. He just cracks me up. Scanlan, because he is the most fun to draw. He's super expressive. And I think second place, like a close second, will be Grog, because I love the duality of his character. I'm a sucker for like the tank, so I'd say I like Rock. He's like a baby, but then he's like super violent, almost jarringly so, and I think that's fun. Grog for sure. He's a big dummy. I love him. I think that he is the funnest to play with because there's nothing that you could write that would be too dumb for Grog, and I love stupid humor. I have two. It's Grog and Pike. I just, I really like their friendship. I think mean, they're really funny together. Grog is so tough on the outside, but he has a really sweet and innocent side to him as well that's really endearing. And Pike is just a badass. Pike's my favorite right now. She's the most fun to draw. I really like her personality, especially when she's hanging out with Grog. I mean, I gravitate towards Vax. His roguish nature, I definitely relate to that. I think my favorite character from Vox Machina is Keyleth because I've had a lot of scenes with her and I feel very close to her because of that. Um, There's so many to choose from. Uh, my favorite moment from the live stream campaign is when Grog is in the toilet with the sword. Grog is talking to Craven's Edge while he's <laughs> going to the bathroom. And Scanlan comes up and thinks he's talking to his shit. And Scanlan has to play music for him. And he's trying to disguise that he's not going to the bathroom. He's talking to his sword. <laughs> it's just like so dumb. Really the essence of Grog and Scanlan's relationship that I love. So I would say that probably. I love that one. One of the most epic moments that I got to see, you know, play out live was the introduction of the Chroma Conclave. The party seeing these dragons coming at them definitely is one up there for me to hopefully one day see, you know, be translated to animation. The first fight with the Briarwoods after the dinner, that was the moment I realized like how dramatic it could be. I don't know if I have a favorite moment so much as I really enjoy the engagement between the entire group of Critical Role because it really re reminds me of the way me and my friends would just like sit around at home and just hang out. But yeah. There was this moment where, you know, when Vax is like professing his love to Keyleth, but then they're actually just people in the world. So they're just two people sitting at a desk and there's this guy who's just like, yeah, I've loved you all this time. And she's just like, figuring out how to handle it as an actor. I thought that was great. It was a juicy little awkward moment. Does that work? <laughs> it's good? Oh, okay. Thanks for watching, y'all. Next time we will find out what it takes to turn a live-streamed role-playing game into an actual animated series. Until then, make sure to catch up on our first episode of our Titmouse Crew and A, and we'll see you then.